Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the important concept in the angular dependency injection that is hierarchical injectors. So that means how the injection will be happening hier hierarchically in an angular 18. Let's try to see. So normally what I want to tell you is the injectors have a certain rules and we can use these rules to leverage to achieve the desired visibility of inject injectables in the application. So based on this rule, so you can use the leverage to have the desired visibility of those injectables available in your application. So by understanding these rules, you can determine whether to declare a provider. Provider means nothing but the services or anything at the application level or in a component level or in a directive level. So that means so no injectors, what I want to tell you is injectors will angular will be having a certain rules by using these rules or by understanding these rules. So you need to determine whether a service or a dependency injection, whether we need to provide in an application level or in a component level or in a directive level. So this, this is the way which we need to decide it. So the applications you build with angular can become quite large. So when you are trying to build an application, so going on going on, it can become a quite large. And one way to manage this complexity is to split up the application into a well-defined tree of components. So when your Angular application is becoming quite large, so the one way to manage your application is to split the application into a well-defined tree of components. So now when you are trying to divide a tree of components, so there may be a, some sections of your page. So some components, there may be a, some sections of your page that work in a completely independent way than the rest of application. So like for example, let's say that you are having an authentication module. Let's say authentication module if you are having means that is in a completely independent way with other rest of the application. So that means there will be some sections of the uh, of your pages which is completely independent of its rest of the application. And it has its own copy of services and other dependencies that it needs. So that is one thing. And some of so other thing what you will be having in your application is some of the services that these sections of this application use might be shared with other parts of the application. So now you will be having some service services in the sections of the application and that services might be shared with the different parts of the application or with parent components that are further up in the component tree while other dependencies are meant to be private. So by other dependencies might be meant to be private. So these are the different ways how we these different sections how your angular application will be when you are trying to divide a very large application some sections of your application might be having a completely independent way having its own set of services which are independent and it will be having its own local copy of these services and other dependencies but you'll be having some other sections of the application and the services these for these sections of the applications might be shared with the other parts of the application something like a parent component that further up in the component tree you will be using this one so this is the one way which you will be having so now you have understood about these di different parts how you will be having the dependencies right so now by using this hierarchy hierarchical dependency injection so you can isolate the sections of the application i told you right the independent sections of the application which you will be having you can isolate the sections of this application and give them their own private dependencies not shared with the rest of the application by using this hierarchical dependency injection we can do it like this or otherwise you can also maintain in such a way that parent component will have the services and it can share those all the dependencies with its shared components only but not with the rest of the component tree. So like this also you can do it. Hierarchical dependency injection enables you to share the dependencies between different parts of the application only when and if you need to. So if you want to share the dependencies between different parts of the applications also hierarchical dependency injection enables you to do this one only whenever you need to do or otherwise if you don't want to uh, share the dependencies means you can also isolate the sections of the application or otherwise for example let's say that the parent component has the dependencies and it wants to share the dependencies only to its shared component means then also using this hierarchical dependency injection you can able to do this one angular has two injector hierarchies one is an environment injector and another one is an element injector so now in this video we will try to learn about this environment injector what is this environment injector element injector we will try to learn it in the next video so these are the two different injector hierarchies which you will be having it so environment injector and also an element injector so the environment injector can be configured in one of the two ways by using the injectable provided in property so whenever you are trying to define a service or an anything provider so you will be adding an at the rate injector injectable 
so this is the decorator we will be using and inside that one we will be using we will be giving you the provided it in property and we will refer to it as a root or the platform so up to now we haven't used this platform we'll i will try to show you in the upcoming videos but we will be defining it with a root so that means so this the service which you have mentioned it with an injectable provided in property this will be injected in the environment so that means it will be having in the root so i can say that it is provided in the root and you can also have an another method so which you can instead of providing this one you can also use you can add this provider in the application config provider array i will try to show you that one where it will be provided so if you try to see that one so the two the two types of injector environment injector how we can do it is i already told you that is nothing but test service if you try to open any test service here we have provided with an ethereum injectable and we have provided it in the root right so that means this provider or this service is injected in the environment that means in the root injector and the another one is so if you don't provide it this one so you can also use an app config.ts file so where you can provide it here in the provider section so here also you can add it so this one is also one and the same only so that is one thing so the environment injector can be configured in any the environment injector so it can be configured in one of the two ways by using ethereum injectable provided by the root or the platform or otherwise by using the application config provider array i have shown you the provider array that is nothing but this provider array so you can also provide it in this one also so these are the two ways where we can configure the environment injector so now you may be getting doubt that which which meth, uh, which way is the best suited one so whether i need to provide the service with injectable decorator and i need to provide it in root this way this is the preferable way or directly mentioning it in the application config is this one is the preferable way so you may be thinking of like this so the thing which your which is preferable is using the ethereum injectable provided in property is the preferable to use the instead of using the application config provider array so that means the first one is the most preferable way in order to use it instead of adding this one in the application config why we are, why by both have the uh, both will be injected in the environment only right so what is the benefit of this one is if you provide the service with an injectable provided in optimization tools while you are trying to making it as bundle optimization tools can perform the tree shaking so why it will try to do this tree shaking is which removes the services that your application is it using for example let's say that you have created a service and you have mentioned it in the provided in root or you have mentioned it in the application config by something by some reasons or anything so you are not using that dependency injection service that's provide that service you are not using it anywhere in the application so that means when you are trying to make the bundle that service will be added into your bundle which makes the bundle size to be increased so that means you are not using the instance of that service so there is no need for the service to be included in your bundle size so when you provide it in as an injectable provided in root means the optimization tools will be there which it will try to do the tree shaking so when it will do the tree shaking whatever the services that are not used in the applications automatically those those services instances and all those things will be removed so this results in the smaller bundle sizes tree shaking is especially useful for a library because the application which uses the library may not have a need to inject it so this is the main thing so and also the way how we can implement this environment injector also i have shown you that you can use an ethereum injectable provided in root or otherwise in this one you can provide directly something like provide okay you can use this provide thing and here you can use console logger service and we need to use use class console logger service now this one we also is provided in the root level so environment so this one also you can provide it instead of this one in the console logger service will be there right automatically this one is provided in it in the root so if you don't do this one and if you want this one to be injected at the root level means then you need to mention it in the console logger service so if you don't want to mention this one means you can remove this directly and here you need to mention it in a provided in root both are one in the same only but the preferable way of using the service is like this injectable provided in root why because if this instance of the service is not used in a, any part of the application means this service automatically it will be removed so that the bundle size will be decreased so this is all about the environment injector so still some more injectors are there like module injector and all those things we'll try to learn it in the next video hope you understood about this environment injector and the hierarchical injector concepts which we are trying to learn it so this is some of the important concept which you need to have a basic understanding or the basics foundations of this dependency injection how it will work in our angular if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you